Okay. Welcome to the Bioastronautics Research Lab at CU Boulder. Right behind me you can see the HL-20. It's a mock-up of a spacecraft that NASA was originally planning on flying to the International Space Station. And its history actually goes farther back. Once an Australian spy plane was flying over the Indian Ocean and saw a Soviet carrier picking up this lifting body from the ocean into their carrier and gave that information to the United States government. Reverse engineering took place and NASA came, a, came with something very close to this and then funding got cut. A couple of decades later it came back to life and NASA was looking into this spacecraft as a possibility for a lifeboat uh, for the International Space Station. So as you can see it looks a lot like the shuttle, a lot smaller though, and what it would have done is it would have been docked to the International Space Station the whole time and then just come back down if crew needed to immediately come back to, to back to Earth. Now this program was also cut and then Space Dev, a company based in Louisville, Colorado took over the project and started to plan a commercial space plane. Sierra Nevada Corporation merged uh, with the Space Dev and now they are the ones developing the spacecraft. It has won CC Dev 1 and CC Dev 2 money, so it's actually being funded through NASA to uh, make a couple of flights, a test flights. Uh, the first one being uh, next year, which is just an ETA, an engineering test article, which is going to be dropped off a White Knight 2 uh, for aerodynamic testing. Now, let me show you a little bit about the lab. Here, you can see our cockpit. Here is where we conduct our research on human factors analysis and different other topics, but mainly this is for uh, spacecraft. Uh, so we're looking into operation of uh, all these different controls during a microgravity and non-nominal uh, flight regimes. So you can see that we have this conference room. This is uh, this was provided by Sierra Nevada Corporation for us to conduct a more uh, a higher fidelity uh, analysis. And uh, let me show you the back of the spacecraft. Also, uh, the BioAstro Research Lab entails a lot more kind of research. And you can see over here, we also have simulators of spacesuits because Altair and other different spacecraft have also been simulated here for conducting engineering and human factor analysis. Soon, this lab is going to be dedicated to the memory of Kalpana Chawla, who is a CU alum, and as most of you know, uh, was part of the Columbia flight. Here you can see an image of how the Dream Chaser is going to look when it's attached to the International Space Station. Docks on the same port as the shuttle used to. And for the coolest part of the tour, let's go inside the spaceship. So this looks very similar to what the real thing is going to be like. You can see that there are seven seats. There is a uh, pilot and commander seats here in front. Um, Obviously, this is not the real thing. This is just an idea for uh, for you to, to have an idea how is it going to look, how is it going to be. It's going to be beautiful, that's what it's going to be.